All right. Hello, hello. Hey, YouTube. It's time for uh, some new content for every day for 100. Um, okay. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm not feeling my best. Uh, I went by my local um, corner store with a pharmacy. I'm not going to name any brand names, but I got this... Uh, This generic, you can't see the brand here, I'm sure. Generic nighttime cold and flu stuff. Um, but what I'm really here to show you is a special <gasps> quick view at home over the counter COVID 19 tests. Oh, yeah. So this is the rad new COVID test that everyone's talking about. Um, everyone wants one, people are scrambling. I think I paid twenty three ninety nine plus sales tax for the mine. Um, yeah, it gives you the instructions on the back, uh, right here. They're a little bit blurry, but I'm gonna look at some of this. So it's two tests, and you're supposed to take them uh, within twenty four hours, or not within twenty four hours, after twenty four hours, and before thirty six. The idea is you get tested twice, and I think that's for the purpose of. Uh, to see if you don't have it anymore, but I'm taking it to see if I do have it at all. So here we go. It says it's fast, easy, and ready when you are, and hopefully it's ready when I am. Also, there's a picture of an older man and presumably his grandson or someone else's grandson, a family nephew or friend. They're close. They're definitely not doing social distancing. I feel like this is not super accurate to the way I currently feel. But I might not have COVID, so we'll see. Also, I'm not very good at looking at the camera. I generally just kind of look at myself, which is here. I could put myself further up. Look at that. And now I look like I'm looking at myself a little bit more, maybe. All right. So first things first, I can't get this little sticker off. I'm trying not to damage the box because, uh, you know, in case I do decide to resell it, then, um, you know, I'd li rather have it, the box be in decent condition. I did ask the, the lady who sold it to me at the counter, hey, can I return it if it comes back negative? And she didn't laugh. Didn't laugh. That's okay. That's okay. Still working on getting this plastic off without destroying the box. There we go. All right, so like most boxes, it opens from the side here. Let's just kind of, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, so what it comes with is uh, this little cookie, not cookie, this little plastic dish here with some instructions. Got some English instructions. I got Spanish instructions. Now I read Spanish. And I speak Spanish, but I'm not actually going to use this because viewers probably don't speak as much Spanish. Some of you might. So, all right. Before, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Make sure your hands are dry before starting. Oh. All right, I'm going to be right back.
All right, that's step one. Step one. My hands are dry, or they're at least mostly dry. Okay, step... Huh. See, I'm going to call this an error. Because, look, here it says, wash your hands before you start. And then you have step one. So, quick view... I just want to say you should have step one be wash your hands because most people are just going to skip straight to step one. Just going to throw that out there. So, so far, not looking great for the quick view at home over the counter COVID-19 test. All right. So hands are dry. Hands are clean. Check your test kit. Locate the kit components. It is recommended gloves not provided also be used during testing. I think we're gonna have to do without. I don't. I don't have any gloves. I'm, I'm not gonna go to the store again. Okay. All right. Tubes. I got tubes. Tube holder. Okay. So the tube holder is actually in this packaging. Yeah. I'll I'll give you all a better look at the packaging while we're waiting on test results. Swabs. These are our swabs here. Look at that. And watch or timer not included. And test strips. Looks like I got test strips. All right. Step two, which is actually step three. Place the tube in the tube holder. I'll just kind of give you all a preview of this. But, uh, tubes in the tube holder. Remove cap from one tube and place it in the tube holder. That's... <sighs> See, in grammar, this is called not being specific because you got... Remove the cap and place it in the tube holder. I think it wants me to put the tube in the tube holder, but... Grammatically speaking, in English, I could be placing the cap in the tube holder and really screw this up. So I'm going to put the tube in the tube holder, not the cap. Maybe on my second test, I'll actually put the cap in. We're just going to guess, I guess, 50% chance of doing it the right way. Quick view at home over-the-counter COVID-19 test. Looking rough on this little sheet here. All right, let's keep going. All right, remove the cap. Once again, it's telling me that I should be wearing gloves, or it's recommended that I wear gloves, but you didn't say that on the package. You didn't, you weren't like, buy some gloves. All right, so I've removed it. Step three, remove the swab from its wrapper, being careful not to touch the swab head. Okay, so here's my swab. Okay, so here it's a long white swab. This is the end I'm not supposed to touch. Now, gently insert the swab half an inch to three quarters of an inch into the nostril, depending on the size of the person's nose. Firmly rub the swab in a circular motion around the inside wall of each nostril at least four times. Be sure to rub both nostrils with the same swab. If you're swabbing others, I'm not swabbing others, wear a face mask. And with kids, you don't need to put in as far. Failure to swab properly may cause false negative results. So this goes in my nose pretty high four times. Circular motion around the inside nose of each nostril at least four times. So let's go once here. That hurt. That hurt. That really hurt. That really hurt. Okay, I did it several times. Immediately place a swab into this thing. Okay. Push in the bottom. Stir three to four times. Leave the swab in the solution for one minute. Crap, I need to start a timer. Okay, so. It's going to be in there for one minute. 
and we're going to chill. And I'm going to look at this. Note, if the swab is in the solution for more than 10 minutes, it should not be used. At least one minute. So I think probably what we're going to do is kind of chat for a minute of how we're doing so far. I'm also going to look ahead in these notes. Step five is after one minute, remove the swab from the tube by rubbing the swab head against the inside wall of the tube to squeeze out as much liquid as possible. So you kind of have to like do a little swirly motion as you pull it out. And then you want to throw the swab away. Sorry for the sniffles. I just stuck um, that up my nose. All right, open the test strip. Open the test strip pouch carefully at the slit and hold the test strip as indicated. Don't touch, hold here, don't touch here. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. And then after that, we're gonna do it for 10 minutes where I leave it in there. At least 10 minutes with the arrows pointing down. At 10 minutes, remove the test strip. Next, place this test strip on the outline. Next, place the test strip on the outline in steps 10 through 12. Okay, all right. The test is intended to be read at 10 minutes. If the test is read before this or is read more than five minutes after the indicated time, the results may be inaccurate. A false negative, false positive, or invalid. And the test should be repeated. Positive result, negative result, invalid result. All right. Positive blue and the pink line. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I, by the way, reached the couple minute parts. All right, so now I need to remove this. Get as much liquid as possible from the inside of the swab out. All right, I'm trying to get as much liquid as I can out. All right, I think I've got it. Now. I need to open this up. Uh, this has to be thrown away. I'll throw it away in just a minute. This probably some sort of chemical I don't want to touch. All right, open this up. He decided to cuss here for some reason. Then I had to watch this video for 12 minutes to find out where it was. Nobody's made it this far anyway, but make sure you smash subscribe and tell 10 friends. So one thing I can tell already is that they don't want you to open this package. All right, so this is my test strip, test strip. This is what it looks like. You can see we've got like a black side. Uh, all right, place the test strip. All right, I'm holding here. I don't need to touch it there. That's my, that little white spot there is where my test results are gonna show up for a full 10 minutes into the liquid. All right, so. Do not handle or remove. Arrow pointing down. Okay, I've got it in there as indicated. Now, I'm going to take this time to throw this away and put on a kitchen timer for 10 minutes or 9 minutes and 30 seconds at this point. 10 minutes, something like that. And then I'm going to improvise for, for 10 minutes, do some improv comedy. So what we're looking for here is um, basically a pink line and a blue line to show up. Possibly. But it takes 10 minutes, so we're going to find out on our own. So we're just going to wait and see. Uh, I got eight minutes to kill, so let's talk about, um, uh, cars. What's the deal with cars? They're big metal boxes that are mostly made of plastic now. What happened to the way they used to make cars? They used to make cars so that if you hit something, everyone dies.
Ba-dum-tsh. Now cars are all concerned about safety and have stuff like crumple space. Wow, if I wanted to live in a car accident, why would I crash my car? Ba-dum-tsh. All right. Um, all this being very important to say that uh, I believe in car safety and I believe in being very serious about the coronavirus, but I'm just not very serious about my own health and safety. So probably tonight I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to sleep real good on this stuff. The big downside is I'm a runner, so I don't know how this is going to affect my running in the future. Hopefully it doesn't affect it too much. But we're going to see. If I do have COVID, it's going to suck. If I don't have COVID, then I'll probably just have the flu. Uh, uh, I'm just looking at this to see if it's what it says about a positive. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just gotta wait for this thing to finish. <sighs> Ten minutes is a long time to think of funny things to say. Um... I could say my social security number. I'm not going to do that. I could review a different video game. The only video game I really play nowadays is The Mining of Isaac. I call it a 10 out of 10 for the most part, or 9.5 out of 10, because there's still some things in it that aren't uh, good synergies. That's that. Yep, yeah, we're still waiting. we got about six minutes left on the clock. Six minutes is a long time to fill. What's the deal with coffee shops? You go in there. You don't go shopping. You go in there knowing you want coffee. Although I guess they sometimes have like coffee cups and things like that. Yeah, well. It's hard not to like watch this as it goes. Ugh. Who knows how it's going to turn out. Who knows. Maybe I got the crew. Maybe I don't. By the way, me and my friends, we sometimes refer to it as COVID because we're children. So, I want to remind everyone, uh, this is a fine time. Uh, if you're not vaccinated already, go get vaccinated. If you've gotten your first shot but decide not to get your second shot for some reason, get your second shot. If you've got your first and second shot and you're eligible for a booster shot, go get your booster shot. Your booster shot is going to it's, it's gonna boost you. Yeah, it's going to boost you. Uh, I also got my flu shot. So who knows what that's going to be like. Or I know what that's like. Hopefully it no flu either. I don't prefer to be sick. I'm a runner. And as a runner, what we do is we run. And I think COVID makes it very hard to run. Possibly. But we're just going to see what that's like. We're going to play it by ear. Uh, thankfully, I got family that doesn't live too far away. So if I need someone to drop off groceries or random stuff, we can do that. Hmm. Still working, still waiting. Still got four minutes left to wait for this thing to, to show up. All right, at the 10 minutes, remove the test strip from the tube. So it's got like an... It's got like a thing. It's not super clear what it wants. But as I'm looking at this, 
I'm getting a sense of what my results might be. I don't know. We'll find out in just a couple of minutes. We'll find out. Together. Got three minutes remaining. Just going to relax for a minute. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's step 11. Expect for a negative result. Huh. A negative result will show a blue line, but no pink line. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. Invalid COVID test result if there's only a pink line. And then just throw all this stuff in the trash. Cool. So, we got about a minute left. Just looking at this stuff. Step 13, dispose, use test in the trash. And then, once again, the final step is wash your hands. But it doesn't say step 15. That's step 15. Or 16, actually. It's a 16-step process, but they only label it with 14 steps. And I understand, you know, sometimes you got sub-steps and things like that. But I don't understand why they don't like... Just make them steps, or make them sub subsets if it's steps. You know, wash your hands should not be like a you know, before and after. Hey, maybe if you kind of want to wash your hands before or after things like that, but whatever. So anyhow, my timer is gonna go off in about thirty seconds. So I'm gonna stand up, turn it off, come back, and then. I'm going to lay it up against this right here, which I'm going to do on a different surface, and then I'll bring it back over here. And that's how we're going to proceed. All right. Yup. Okie dokie. It's the moment of truth. Just about the moment of truth. All right. I don't know if you can hear that subtle beeping. That's my timer going off. I'm going to turn off my timer and... Then we'll get start looking at it. All right, everyone, good news. You see that? That's a single blue line. That means, according to this test, I don't have COVID. So now we'll just have to check back in later and see if that does, in fact, turn out to be the case. Um, anyhow, thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe to Every Day for 100K and tell 10 friends. Um, thanks.